Welcome back. In this segment, we're going to talk about absolute versus relative references. So as you can see, this formula refers to B7 through B9, and when we copy that across, it's relative and it changes, so it goes to C, D. Now, if we want this to be absolute and not change, we can insert dollar signs. So now if we copy this, you can see that the B and the 7 do not change. Now in this case, not really relevant, but you can actually fix it. So again, I took out the dollar before the B, so you can see that the 7 remains the same but the B changes to C. So this is partial referencing. Now when I drag down, you can see the B7 doesn't change, but the B9 changes to B10. So again, the great thing about this, so let's say for example, um, okay, so for example, if we wanted to If we wanted to calculate the profit per sales, or let's say profit per month, you would multiply this. Oh, I defeated the purpose. Let's undo that. Okay. So we would multiply F2, and multiply is just standard multiplication signal, times that. So as you can see, we made $343.75 in January. Now if we just copy this over, you can see that Excel adjusts the, the column here as well as moves this over one. So if we put dollar signs in front of F2, now when we do it, F2 becomes fixed, so we're automatically multiplying this by this, and that carries across. Now, if we had something different, for example, if we wanted to fix just the row or the, the column, then we can either play with the, the dollar sign. So again, if you see this, it changes. Actually, it won't change there, but it'll change here. You can see it drops to G. So with absolute referencing, you can sort of fix things so that you know exactly where your data comes from.